Hey guys, so welcome back to the shop. Uh, if you've been following along with my shop series, I have been trying out different types of lights. Uh, I've had those old 8 foot uh, fluorescent tubes in the back workshop where the machine shop is. And uh, half of them were just out. Uh, I guess the ballasts went bad over time. Uh, they weren't very bright. And uh, they took up a lot of uh, space uh, up by the ceiling. Uh, they were kind of held up by chains, which I really didn't care for. I mean, granted, I put them up probably 25 years ago when I was a young man. And uh, back then it was like Yankee Stadium, but now everybody's going to these um, LED bulbs. So I had purchased the... Uh, the high bay LED from Amazon. It's uh, made by Hyper Icon, or at least it's imported by Hyper Icon. Um, 120 degree beam angle, uh, 16,800 lumens, and 45 hour lifespan. That light was $175 from Amazon, of course, with the free shipping prime. And I tried it out last week. Uh, it is quite an improvement. Although it has a couple of different drawbacks on its very own. First drawback was, as soon as you walk into the space, your eye is immediately going to that light. And it is like looking at the beam of the sun. It's very concentrated. Um, you know, very spottish. Uh, there's, uh, you know, it's just impossible to look out and then you're blinking and you're still seeing the light after you're even looking the other way. So, uh, although it made a quite an improvement um, in the shop, that feature I really wasn't happy with. Um, just because I figure if I'm going to put four of them up there, uh, I'm going to be blind by the end of the day. So, I decided to try the uh, High Bay UFO style light that's on your right. Um, that is also made by Hyper Icon. It's also on her 150 watts, which, you know, relates to being about 500 watts in, you know, regular bulb wattage. Uh, and it says it is a little bit brighter. It has 18,000 lumens versus 16,800. So, um, back to the shop, uh, I've installed one of each just to kind of see what they look like. Um, I honestly feel that the one on the left seems brighter. I don't know why. Um, I'm going to take you back to the shop. We're going to have a look and see, uh, what your thoughts are. So, uh, let me bring you back there right now. Okay. So as you can see, uh, I've taken all but two of those, uh, eight foot fluorescents and you kind of see what I mean. They were just kind of hanging all the way across. I mean, it's not a very wide room. Uh, you know, it would taken up a lot of uh, space, which could be cabinets or shelves. I've taken most of them down, and I've put up one of each style light. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the first one on. And you're going to see what I mean by when I tell you it is a brilliant flash of light. Uh, you might even want to put your sunglasses on before I flip this switch, but here it goes. That thing is absolutely brilliant. It's like a, the shooting star of Mars or something. I don't know. I mean, it, it's very possible that my ceiling isn't that high and that could be the whole problem. But it, it is just, it's just too brilliant to walk back here and look at every time I walk in. It's not pleasant at all. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that one off and I'm going to turn the second one on. Now here's the UFO style. And... Um, to me, it seems a lot more pleasant, but we let you make that decision. See, so uh, it, it actually does, looking through my camera phone, it does, it looks, it looks pretty brilliant. Um, but as you can see, it's not just one giant square bulb. It's made up of quite a few smaller LEDs. It has quite a bigger uh, footprint. And uh, I, you know, I got to tell you, comparing the two, it seems like the first um, pendant is brighter, even though the second one says it has more lumens. So, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and sacrifice that 
uh, just just so um, just for the sake of the pleasantness of working in the back here and uh, here here they're both on and you can tell yourself that the first one does by the naked eye look quite a bit brighter um, the one thing I didn't really care for was up at the top of it, by the ceiling it, the room looks kind of shadowy but uh, you know I don't think that's gonna make I'll get used to that that's not a big deal so I mean looking at my machines everything is lit up really well uh, of course once I get these machines located eventually in that where, where they're going to stay uh, until I don't own them anymore uh, I'll probably put like an additional operators light but I, I tell you the truth I don't even know if I'm gonna need it or not so there you have it um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to continue this video, but what I'm going to go ahead now is I'm going to go ahead and take that first pendant down and I'm going to replace it with uh, another one of the uh, UFO styles because I bought two of them just to see what they look like. And then if you can see further down the room, you see there's a one last box. Uh, I was thinking of hanging a third, a third and possibly even a fourth all the way down towards the end of the room. We'll see how that looks. Um, if I could get away with with uh, three that would be fantastic because uh, they are kind of expensive and I still need to address this area I still have two of the eight footers here I know they're all crooked because I redid the ceiling um, I don't know if the, now this ceiling's actually a little bit lower uh, than the other ceiling so I don't know I might stick with uh, maybe some LED fluorescence or maybe when I order the third, I could try it over here with that junction boxes and see if I like it. Uh, if yes, great. If not, then uh, I'll think of something else. But there you have it. It's my, uh, it's my light tests. And once I get this back room squared away, I have the uh, front room, uh, which is kind of a machine shop slash workshop shop slash uh, wood shop I'm going to be replacing the uh, eight footers in that room as well so uh, once again thanks for watching I uh, hope this video helped you out a little bit in your light choices I'd be really happy if you guys commented on your thoughts uh, and if you guys found anything better um, that you actually like in your shop please uh, feel free to comment because uh, I don't mind taking these back down and exchanging them once again. I, I want to do it once. I want to do it right. If I'm going to spend the amount of money I'm spending on lights, I'd like to have the best lights I could possibly purchase. So anyway, uh, I'll get back to work, and uh, I hope you guys go make something in your shop. Take care. Thanks. Hey, guys. So uh, one last thing. My uh, camera phone actually stayed on long enough to... Uh, allow me to go ahead and replace that light I guess you can see it didn't take that long granted these are just uh, temped up I'm waiting for uh, covers for the boxes so I can actually mount the u-bolt to the covers though so these lights are really light so they should be fine up there but uh but there you have it it is uh, quite a bit more pleasant it's not like staring me in the face blinding me and it seems to be just about the same amount of light as the uh, other model. The other model looked actually quite a bit cooler because it had those big fins and it had the big uh, kind of housing. It looked it looked kind of like, you know, a little bit meaner, but these lights are going to be great. So, uh, okay, there you go, guys. Have a great day. Take care.